So you got some fish, <clears throat> now you got to type, figure out what kind of fish food you want. This can be very overwhelming. There is hundreds of brands, hundreds of types, you can go in there and it's very easily to get overwhelmed and end up spending 30 minutes to an hour just trying to pick out what the best fish food is and they all have their, their, their um, marketing and, and what they promote. Well, I'm here to make it a little bit easier for you. Um, if you're going to buy fish food, you want to look for high quality ingredients. These ingredients should be one of the first things listed on the label. When you turn, take the time to turn that fish food container around and read. It's no different than humans. You're not going to eat junk food all the time or you're going to have issues, right? You want to have some high quality ingredients in your fish food. Now I wrote these down so you're going to see me looking off just because I couldn't remember them all. But these are the type of things you want to look for on the top of the list of the ingredients listed on the fish food container. <clears throat> you want whole fish, algae meal, spir spirulina, krill, squid meal, black soldier fly, earthworms, black worms. These are the type of ingredients you want to be looking for. And you want to see it at least two to three of them listed on the top of that um, uh, label on, on the fish food. The ingredients that you want to avoid are low quality fish meal. Okay, um, there's two kinds of high quality fish meal. It's made from grinding whole fish, <clears throat> and the label will say whole fish meal on it. Um, fish can't digest things like soy or wheat gluten. You want to avoid those things as well. Um, as far as the ingredients go, real quick and simple, those are the best ingredients that you want to see listed. What does that look like? Okay. You're, you know, sometimes we don't have the time to sit in the store and just read. Maybe you were sent to go to the store and get this stuff. You don't want to take the time. You just want to go in, grab what you need, and get out. It's the kind of person I am. But that's also why I did my research. So when I go to the stores, I can, boom, look it up online, see what they have before I even make the trip, see if they have it, <clears throat> unless you're ordering online. Um, and, then, and then I know that I can go to the certain store I need to go to, go find it, boom, pick what I want and leave. But what does that look like? <clears throat> what are these good ingredients? That's great. I can read, but I want to be able to go in the store, look, see what I need, know, know, know the food has good ingredients in it, grab it, and leave. One food that's everywhere, and always has been, which is a decent food. This is a very good, like, and in my opinion, this is one of my favorite foods, but because you can get it anywhere, anytime, and they have everything for every fish and it's readily available it is about and it's like a mid-grade food it's not low it's a mid-grade food it's not high some of their food can be high but in my opinion this is the best mid-grade food omega one and this one in particular is the super color flakes <clears throat> The listing and the ingredients on this is salmon, whole herring, wheat flour, shrimp. Now this does have some wheat gluten in it, but it's got pea protein, whole herring, oil, dried kelp, vitamins. We don't have to sit here and list through the whole ingredients. But there's no artificial flavors in this. Omega-1 is a, a, a good fish food. You can't go wrong with it. So I like to have that in my cabinet. Another, in my opinion, a little a step above that is cobalt. 
This one is the Tropical Premium Fish Flakes. They make food, of course, for cichlids and other fish. What I like about cobalt, which is why I like to keep this in my cabinet, is it has probiotics in it. They're, I like, you can mix that with your food, with your other food, throw it in. It's always good to get some probiotics in your fish to help them thrive, help them live longer. Just like human beings, probiotics are good for us too. Um, but yes, cobalt foods is a, is a good food. And uh, I think a little bit uh, a step above omega-1 just because of the probiotics they put in it. <clears throat> now, now we're going to get into the higher end of quality foods. This is top notch. This is high quality food. You, you don't get no better than this in my opinion and of course up there there are competitors as well my personal favorite is extreme aquatics these people have been around like 45 years they uh have made so this is a fish farm in florida and and this guy needed a way to be able to feed all of his fish easy quick because he can't be going through picking he doesn't have the time to go through three four different bottles of food and, and, and feed his fish. You need one good high quality food you can go around and feed that's good for all types of fish. And that's what they created, Extreme Aquatics. And you can feed this to all your fish. You, I can't get this in any stores that I have around me. I have to order this stuff online. Um, you're going to spend a little bit more money. Different sizes. This is a 3.5 ounce bottle. They make 8 ounces and they make smaller ones that you can buy. Depending on how many tanks you have and how many fish you need, you might not need this much food. So you'll, you'll, not have, you'll save some money. I like the 3.5 ounces because when these are done, I also love the bottles they come in. You can use it for a lot of stuff. <clears throat> um, extreme Aquatics food. My number one favorite food. Good for any fish and it's packed full of high quality ingredients. <clears throat> you know when you're buying this, you can get it and feed to all your fish no matter what it is. And, you, and they make different sizes. Uh, they got the flakes. Uh, I like the community crave version is awesome. That's nothing but krill and spirulina in it, which is two high quality foods. And that is one container with two great ingredient flakes in it and that you can just go around and feed all your fish. I like it because it's everything I said and it's convenient it's efficient you take this one bottle you go around you feed every tank that you might have you're done all the fish will eat it all the fish love it they all go crazy for it nine times out of ten those are just the three examples I brought in there's lots of other food but I'm just trying to make this video quick and easy <clears throat> um, there's um, other things to consider when you're talking about feeding fish at the end of the day you can have the extreme aquatics food, the omega-1, and the cobalt, put it in your tanks, and your fish might not eat it. They just might not like it. I don't like peas. I don't like cooked carrots. You are not going to get me to eat any one of those. I don't care what the maker or brand of them are. I'm not going to eat them. I hate peas! <sighs> point is at the end of the day you have to feed your fish what they're going to eat they might only like cheap low quality food but I guess feeding them that if that's the only thing they're going to eat that's better than not getting fed at all right at least they're getting some food in their stomach some nutrition but you want to try to avoid cheap foods if you can one they wreak havoc on your tank water your um uh, it can cloud the water. Uh, it, it, it just cheap food. Just one isn't good for the fish. One isn't good for your tank. One isn't good for the ecosystem you're trying to create. Uh, you know, if all that, if say you got a bunch of cheap food in there and they don't eat it, now you got cheap food in there rotting quickly, clouding the water, raising the ammonia, which is going to eventually raise the nitrites. So if you can stick away from cheap food. Let's try to do that. Um, warden foods. I had some of those shrimp pellets. Luckily, all my quarry cats and, and, and um, plecos would eat it up and it wouldn't sit around too long. They liked it. But that is a, that is a cheap food. So, 
that's it in a nutshell. When you're when you, you need some good fish food, you don't know what the best is to buy. Don't go in the store. Don't get overwhelmed. Just do your research. Watch videos like this. There's a lot more out there. Look at that ingredients. Look at the ingredients on the back of the container. See if they have what I said. Whole fish, algae meal, spirulina, krill, squid meal, black soldier fly, earthworms, black worms. These are all high quality ingredients that you want in your fish food. Not only is it going to be great for your fish, you're going to see maximum growth size. You're going to see um, beautiful coloration and just all around keep them healthier, help them live longer and live a better life. You know, if you're going to go to... Uh, Burger King and eat Burger King every day and McDonald's and KFC well the next time you go to the doctor you're gonna find out you have high cholesterol high blood pressure and you're gaining weight because of this crap meal or your wife if she's you're gonna wait till you get home because your wife's gonna cook you a meal at home that's a lot better for you it's a little lean less fat right more vegetables and less portions let's not forget that when we're feeding our fish we only want to feed them a little bit a pinch one two times a day I feed my fish once a day sometimes I give them a snack because I like to watch the meat uh, it's don't overfeed your fish because I don't care what food you have high quality low quality you overfeed your fish you're still gonna have a lot of problems I made a video on that we don't have to get into that the point of this video was what's the best food to get so you're not going to the store and getting overwhelmed but that was it <clears throat> please let me know in the comments if you like this video I'm learning uh, give me some advice or um, any comments on um, a video you'd like to see me do about anything I do anything and everything in the aquarium hobby um, except breed I don't get into breeding fish unless it happens by accident which it has uh, it was very cool um, but any questions you have leave in the comments let me know if this video helped you appreciate your time I hope you have a great Christmas and a happy holiday be safe stay warm Appreciate you guys.